friends, the personality we have up next is a powerhouse of inspiration and determination. I really think the word impossible is missing from a special dictionary. An author, filmmaker, and influencer, she has emerged as a strong icon of influence for women empowerment. She has authored two hugely successful books, 12 Commandments of Being a Woman and The Seven Sins of Being a Mother. Known for her frank, forthright views, she is here with us to share them on how empowered parents lead to empowered kids. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome Tahira Kashyap Khurana. Kaisi hai aap? Bahut bariya Siddharth, thank you so much for that elaborate long introduction. Um, it's very humbling but very sweet of you. Thank you. Well, you know why it's elaborate? Because you've done that kind of work for the society <laughs> as a woman, as a mother. So I really have a lot of high regard and respect for you, Tahira. So up ye chat ko kickstart karte hai. How would you define empowerment when it comes to parenting? I think liberated uh, minds lead to other liberated minds as well. I feel we need to be at ease with our identity and our existence as parents and not to take our role way too seriously. I think we think that when we become parents, we become big boss, ban jate hai, you know, like we, have, we can rule. But the idea is to understand that we do not give birth to kids or we don't have kids in our homes to, to rule, it's to coexist and to learn from each other. I think the most empowering thing that you can do for your children is treat them as young adults and understand where they're coming from. Because trust you me, there's always some sense. Uh, in the beginning, maybe it's a little incoherent because they're just learning how to speak. But um, I have many incidents in my life where I've realized that when my daughter was two or three and uh, or in fact less than two and I used to uh, send her to a particular school. She never enjoyed. She used to cry and still has to force her. Till the time, about a year back, she actually expressed how she felt going to the school. At that time, she didn't have words. So it's all about understanding and giving respect to your child and treating them as young adults who can emote, who feel, who express, and who are going to make a huge difference um, to the world and the society if, if at all they're empowered to do so. So yeah, padai lamba, dil se nikla wo answer nikal gaya, but <laughs> that's how it is. <laughs> Absolutely, aur aapki awaz dil se nikalti hai, tabhi to maza ta hai baat karne ke liye aapke saath. <laughs> but how important hai in this day and age, Tahira, to empower your kids? It's very, very important. Uh, I think it's uh, it's the most uh, selfless uh, thing to do in the most selfish manner. I, I just feel uh, nobody exists in isolation and uh, the generations uh, keep coming and, and you start coexisting and it's for your own good and for your own betterment uh, that you empower the youth so that the world really becomes a better place, not just for them, but for you too. You do plan to live for another 10, 20, 30, 40 years. It's not that you're not going to. Hopefully everybody makes it there. But uh, the, the way uh, things are going on, I feel a um, lot of compassion. Um, it's one of the biggest qualities that can empower any person, can liberate the heart and the soul of any person. I think it's very important to inculcate uh, compassion in the youth. And I think the world will become a better place for not just them, but for us to, for us to fulfill our goal, goals and our own aspirations. Uh, the environment needs to be conducive. Uh, and uh, the youth is, are the change makers. So, yeah. Absolutely. I can see a movement and all of us realize that it's so important to give us all that we have, especially to the youth out there. They are the present and future of not only India, but the world as well. You know, your middle class upbringing, how has that affected the way you brought up your own children? A lot. Yeah. I, I did not realize that um, there are few things which are very deeply etched um, in, the, in the core of my being. Um, so I remember my father used to, uh, he had a Yesdi, a, a bike, uh, which um, both my parents pulled in and they had gotten on installments and it was the 
most prized possession in a house if at all my father had its way he would have kept that uh, yesd in the living area <laughs> because it was the most expensive prized possession of our family so he used to drop me to my nursery and i used to sit on the tanky ahead and every day my moral lessons would be that 15 minute drive and something which has really stayed with me and i've tried to explain it to my kids also is Uh, this beautiful saying which i'm sure most of us must have heard but i heard it for every day of my life during my childhood which is that if wealth is lost nothing is lost just if health is lost something is lost but if character is lost then everything is lost so it's very important to have a strong character and um, which uh, doesn't mean that you become invincible doesn't mean you become perfect it's just uh, you have the strength to pick yourself up up if ever you fall and you're bound to fall for as long as you're a human being you're bound to go through all sort of sufferings it's about bouncing back it's about picking yourself back in the most uh, beautiful disciplined compassionate um, way so yeah this is something this and this is what i try to um, i've introduced this concept to to my kids as well and um, and also um, I was in a family where both my, my both my parents were always working, so I've always seen my mother work, and I've also seen my father work and do the house errands. So I come from that kind of a, a background, and so uh, it's very important for me to give the same set of values to both. I have a son and a daughter, so there is absolutely no disparity. I was a solo kid, um, but when it comes to my kids, I try to um, you know have zero disparity. of course it goes without saying um but also at the same time it's about making them aware that there is disparity in the world and you have to make a difference it's not keeping them delusional it's not ki telling them are boy girl equal hai but jab duniya mein hai nahi abhi equal it's a patriarchal set up we have a long way to go but the 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 nice thing that you can do for your kids is uh, don't make them delusional uh, but tell them there is something like this this disparity exists but we do not believe in it uh, it is not the correct way and we are here to make a difference and this sort of uh, upfront behavior the side of the sort of communication with my kids it comes from my middle class upbringing because whenever we had a problem in our life it was a joint way of dealing with it i was not put into a bedroom and covered with layers of cotton and silk and i was told life is perfect beta hamare paas bahut sare paise hain tumhe kya chahiye mercedes chahiye agle saal aa jayegi no i was told that we are on a shoe string budget towards the end of the month and i respected that i had value for money and uh, um, that's because we dealt with situations as a family and and uh, that's what i try to introduce uh i think that's what comes across in 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 my existence and i hope it comes across the way i i'm bringing up my kids it certainly comes across conversations are so important reality checks are so important a question that everyone faces at some point during their growing up years is how do i balance education with my passion or hobby how do you ensure that neither is ignored when you were a child daira it's very important i think it's very very crucial to give equal precedence to your passion and your liking and uh, when you don't do that um life sort of is not very joyful very honestly speaking i have been on both ends of the spectrum where um i have only concentrated on education um and uh, keeping my passion uh, sort of uh, not at the forefront um and there was this love this joy which was missing and also i became disoriented ki mujhe karna kya hai my sole mission in life was to earn money but but i started earning money but i still wasn't happy i wasn't joyful and that's where i just went back into all the years how, how did i enjoy life i was doing well at my education and i was always performing in theater i was always writing i was always involved in theater in some form or the other whether it's acting whether it's writing whether it's even directing um and i've always taken to writing i've so i found a lot of joy in that and so suddenly when you become an adult you feel that ye to joyless cheeze hain ya ye to they don't make sense in the literal uh 
working of the world they they can't especially i don't know if you understand siddharth i come from a small town i come from chandigarh theater bahut dur ki baat hai koi ticket ke liye paise nahi dete tha sab mufti aate the uh, so uh, it was never a potential source of income you see so uh, i can understand that this dilemma can exist in anybody's life as it did so in mine but um, i realize life is more meaningful more joyful when you give equal weightage to both education and your passion and when the question comes about how do you make time for both um if it's a joyful experience then you will find enough and more time for both the things so yeah i i feel it's very important to lay stress on 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 your passion because eventually if it's if your it's your passion is layered and sort of uh pushed uh with education you can go on to bigger heights there are a lot of people who are only passion driven and they've also done well in life even without education but it's a harder way it's a longer route also so i feel if you can marry both the concepts together it leads to not just success but a happier being wow so on the chat box how about everyone writing passion with education write it down because the more you write the more you feel it as well passion with education on the chat box i thoroughly agree with you now large part of empowering kids hai is to give them freedom freedom to choose freedom to decide for themselves but this always has me wondering how much freedom is too much freedom and how do you draw a line somewhere i think as parents as adults you do get to know when that line is being abused um there is always and i and i feel uh, kids are the biggest manipulators they know how to manipulate everything you have two daughters and i'm sure you manipulated around all the time but you do get to know that you're being manipulated and so at times just because you're the bigger person you let them manipulate you because you know that's not going to be harmful for them but at times you know that this is not going to eventually be good for them based on your experience you've taken so many years to become an adult and you've gone through your part of life where um you would have burnt your fingers and you don't want your child to do that so you would obviously uh, put a stop to it you would obviously parent as i say that i am i am i would love to be my kids friends and i am but they have enough and more friends in the world and they have only us as parents so i need to do my job as a parent as well which is uh try to make them learn from my experiences or from the world's experiences but uh, that you can't keep your kids in the shell you can't keep keep them in a cocoon they need to experience life they need to fail they need to get up but i just feel you uh, just because they have abused the power once doesn't mean you sort of take away their right uh, from from choosing uh, or from, from from the freedom that they would like to uh, express for instance playstation if i ask my son uh at a particular time what would you prefer he would never take to studies he would always choose expressing his freedom to choose he would always choose playstation but um i i i would respect that decision only for weekends or only for a time bracket so i think it's very important to be aware what's happening in in uh, in the youth in the world that they exist uh but but have guidelines um based on your experience so yeah I exactly know what you were saying especially when you said about little bit of manipulation that happens all those moments with my daughters were coming right in front of me so yes we have to be on our toes too they are the biggest manipulators you know so um you know it starts off from a small thing um, that um, i'm having a headache then it goes down to i can't read then it goes down to the i'm i say why don't you relax oh mama my way of relaxing is watching television so everything has led all the headaches and everything has led to that to watching television so they are they are <laughs> manipulators uh, but uh, it just goes on to show they are very exactly going to how we started this conversation that treat them as intelligent beings they are intelligent how about placing those manipulating skills in the most creative and conducive way this is where you as a communicator as a parent as an educationist can really help your child do that so they are intelligent beings cherish them it's uh, congratulate yourself you have created some uh, very intelligent manipulators uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> a big patch on your back uh, 
but yeah you you need to know where to draw a line a lot of people in fact all of us are talking about education these days tahira how would you define what learning is anything that leads for you to become a better version of yourself i think that's a learning and learning doesn't necessarily take place only in a classroom or on a laptop or in a book it's about experiencing life it's about talking to people it's about empathizing it's about yes reading writing uh, cherishing living i think you live with joy and you learn so many things so for me learning is about becoming a better version of yourself and there are many ways to do that so yeah what really comes to my mind right now is how do you inculcate learning in your children from a very very young age learning i mean to say um so i have been an icsc board okay so i know <laughs> yeah <laughs> बड़ा मुश्किल था यार बड़े बड़े रूलर पड़े हाथों पे <laughs> अभी भी यार दर्द होता है आई नो सो यू नो वी वी नो एग्जैक्टली हाउ मच वी स्टार्टेड हाउ मच वी स्टार्टेड एंड हाउ मच डू यू रिमेंबर राइट नाउ सिद्धार्थ सो यू नो यू डोंट बट देर आर आई थिंक टाइम्स हैव चेंज दिस इज नॉट टू पुट डाउन एनी बोर्ड दिस इज नॉट टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट एन अदर बोर्ड but i'm just saying the best way of learning is when you make it joyful when you make it based on experience um and when the basics are clear when you don't jump the wagon and try to teach uh show off the other parents ke mere bacche ko to 16 ka table bhi aata hai 17 ka table bhi aata hai 18 ka aata hai tumhare ko to 5 6 tak nahi pahunche that 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 is no compliment uh in the longer run also we stress so much about marks marks it's very important to be educated it's very important to have goals for yourself but not to become uh you know hum koi factory outlet mein thodi na hai ki we are just becoming a replica of each other so so learning for me ha- is 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 become very different from what the concept of learning has really become different from where i was a student to now as a parent um so i i i feel um it's it has to be a joyful experience it has to be heartfelt experience the teacher needs to connect uh with with the kid it's it's no longer okay roll call ye present wo present ye aur wo it's just a duty today nowadays teachers also are in their job because of the passion that they have and so that reflects i i don't know if you remember i'm sure you have your favorite subjects and your favorite subjects would not be based upon uh, are ye to mujhe pehle se aata tha but just because your teacher was so good at explaining basics to you i remember my biology teacher in my 9th or the 10th grade she explained the circulatory system so well like she looked like a pumping heart to me then she would go on to explain about the life cycle of a frog she suddenly started looking like a frog to me and i thought you know you, you make dig at you know you, you think yaar yeah, yaar teacher kya kar rahe hain but you just remember it's an experience in the class and just because of that i went on to do bsc in biotechnology just because i liked one subject genuinely maine 5 saal zoology mein nikale hain top karke kyunki mujhe us teacher ne learning ek bahut hi behtareen tarike se karayi thi it was just not textbook it was just not ratification as what we call it. it was experience and even though my heart lay in theater i still went on to do just goes on to show the power of a teacher and words and learning you know so for example uh, exchanging notes here to english literature or maths i started loving because i had a teacher who would make me relate to it made it into a joy ride yeah. and i would do it on my own without anyone telling me ki homework karo vagera vagera biology mein mujhe itne dande pade ki maine ratta tota ban gaya tha main aap mujhse pucho what is mitochondria <laughs> the power house the store house dekho mujhe yaad hai and it's been so many years for me imagine kya hota hai mitochondria aap bata do the double wall bags in a walls produced into finger like processes projecting inwards their powers as cell your molecules of food are broken down to release energy at a side triphosphate क्योंकि इतने डंडे पड़े थे और अब बट लुक एट योर डेफिनेशन लुक एट माय डेफिनेशन इट केम फ्रॉम सो मच ऑफ जॉय आई सेड इज अ स्टोर हाउस ऑफ पावर ऑफ एनर्जी इट वाज सो ब्यूटीफुली एक्सप्लेन टू मी एंड टू यू एंड द सेम थिंग वाज फॉर मी फॉर मैथ्स 
इतने डंडे पड़े हैं मैथ में कि मुझे जेन्यनली आई बिकम डिस्लेक्सिक और आई बिकम स्केर्ड वेन आई सी टू मनी नंबर आई जस्ट या तो मैं लैपटॉप बंद कर दूंगी या बुक बंद कर दूंगी या मैं आई जस्ट इवेड just because of the experience look it's so beautiful between the two of us it was the same board the same subject but all that mattered was the experience of learning talking about that a lot of people may know this a lot of people may not know this ki aap ek professor reh chuki hai to honestly shabad kha ke boliye has there been confusion between tahira the professor to your kids और ताहिरा द मदर टू योर किड्स ये रोल कभी मिक्स हुआ है दोनों का सो आई वाज टीचिंग इन अ कॉलेज वेयर यू नो आई वाज टॉकिंग एंड एड्रेसिंग एडल्ट्स यू नो इट्स वेरी डिफरेंट इट्स अ डिफरेंट स्पेस यू डोंट हैव टू टेल देम डोंट पी एंड डोंट डू दिस एंड डोंट डू दैट यू नो माय किड्स आर रियली स्मॉल राइट नाउ सो इट वाज वेरी वेरी इट वाज इजीयर एड्रेसिंग एडल्ट्स बट दे हैव देयर ओन सेट ऑफ um issues complexes uh, the only simil- the, the congruent area between uh, any set of of students or people is their sensitivity and uh, the sense of uh, respect for their opinion and uh, so whether you are a 20 year old or a 5 year old or a 4 year old you want to be loved and respected and uh, so that's that's something i have taken from my classroom to my home as well um and um even when i went for my lectures i was very sure that i need to know my job really really well so i never took a day off my work for granted um and uh, i really prepared my lectures well uh, because i knew the kind of impact words have you know and uh, with your own kids at home you at times lose patience but then you actually go back to basics that words can change lives words can change mindsets um you know so um i try to be more patient with my kids but you know how it is having two kids at home <laughs> so it's a beautiful experience a testing one it definitely has increased my patience levels um but um the, yeah i i i quite enjoy the role i played as a professor i very much enjoy the role as a mother and um yeah no i was never a kinds of ke tum classroom se nikal jao tumko main marungi corporate punishment and all of that i was in that so yeah we're talking about roles your role as an author the seven sins of being a mother which i recommend to all our parents who are watching the show you must read it dil se bol raha isliye nahi bol raha kyunki tahira yahan baithi hui hai but it's created quite a buzzword uh, with your candid unapologetic ways and views on motherhood now what led you to write this book no many things i for to begin with uh, going back to your earlier question of passion so i realized this is my passion i need to do this for myself more than anybody else uh, this is what i love doing and uh, education has helped me put words to my passion so i can write today because of my education i'm answering your that question yet again um and uh, but you know i realized over a period of time and i'm i'm a big feminist so women are usually uh, put in in boxes you know they they're supposed to be uh, a prototype of each other they are they're stereotyped in more than one way but when it comes to mothers the compartments are even tighter you know so there is only one kind of mother this pious holier than thou mere karan arjun kahan hai aayenge aise wali maa matlab you know main apni roti chhod dungi aur wo sab i mean to say we could be all of that but we could be more and there's so much more to us and so this book is nowhere a bible it's nowhere a help book for you to become a perfect mother or perfect parent or perfect father it's more of to ease off the pressure so it's more of a memoir kind of a thing for me and where i have mentioned all the goof ups that i have done in my life and you write i have been pretty much unfiltered uh blasphemous if i'm allowed to say that um and so yeah people can go read it and have fun at my cost <laughs> but <laughs> but i it was more to do to for for us to humanize um the the, the concept of parenthood or motherhood and it's not always about being perfect 
so yeah it's it's more to ease off the pressure i really hope it can do that um uh, but the tonality is quirky it's funny it's uh, hopefully uh, people will pick up this book read it and also behind all the layers of uh, humor they can see the subliminal messages uh, that i have tried to convey listen i'd love it people who are watching the show right now what are the messages or uh things that are coming to your mind while i'm talking to taira dalia chat box per we'd love to see it remember the most interactive people during the show will get gifts from us towards the end of the show so put your thoughts what are the things you're imbibing right now you've always said one thing that taira ki my children inspire me how have they inspired you yeah yeah they inspire a whole lot matlab mujhe 10 char aur galiyan aa chuki hain बहुत सब कुछ इंस्पायर किया बहुत कुछ सीखा है नो नो बट ऑन अ सीरियस नोट वेन आई ट्रीटेड देम एज जस्ट लिटिल बींग्स हु आई नीड टू मॉनिटर एंड हु आई नीड टू जस्ट मेक श्योर दैट दे आर सेफ एंड ओके इट वॉज मोर ऑफ अ जॉब इट वॉज मोर ऑफ अर एर एंड देर वॉज नथिंग टू लर्न फ्रॉम दैम and the day i started respecting their individuality their quirky sense of humor the choices that the freedom that they had they used to to choose one thing over the other has led to a whole lot of conversation communication between us i realize of course they are an extension uh, of me um, of of us of of my husband but at the same time they are individuals and so i do not rule them i do not control them rather uh, i get to know about a whole new playlist through my son um and uh, i learned so much about you know uh, exercise routine from my daughter because she has been taking her pe classes very seriously in school about which i did not know so i think once you start having conversation beyond the mandatory how was your day teacher ne kya kaha homework kiya tumhe bhi pata hai ki tum apni sirf duty nibha rahe ho i think when your questions go beyond that ki kha liya pee liya so liya उसके बियॉन्ड जब का नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जाएगा दैट विल बी अ कॉन्वर्सेशन दैट विल रियली हेल्प यू चेरिश द ब्यूटीफुल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द चिल्ड्रन एंड यू दिस सो मच टू लर्न फ्रॉम देम सो या हम सारे पेरेंट्स के लिए द लॉकडाउन वाज वेरी वेरी टफ टू चिल्ड्रन हाउ डिड यू कीप बोथ योर किड्स ऑक्युपाइड एंड मोटिवेटेड ड्यूरिंग द लॉकडाउन दे मोटिवेटेड मी आई मीन टू से आई लुक्ड एट देम दे आवर किड्स आर uh you know a, a resilient species um matlab ek second mein uh, if they forget uh, even if they hurt uh, they start this see, see something uh, i think they 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 are gravitated naturally towards optimism and not i'm talk, not talking about my kids ki mere best bachche hai maine bachcho ko dekha hai usually kids they really are gravitated more towards happiness they really want to move on in life and not just it's just as adults you start understanding the feeling of um unfulfilled goals or unhappiness or mera ye nahi hua mo nahi hua you you learn how to float in a in in one life state but as kids have realized they just move on they just keep moving on and so uh, which is which is brilliant about them so i i learned a lot from them and i just uh, they kept me busy or uh, instead of the other way around i we we i became one of them and we were painting and i i think i have documented a part of it on my social media also i think everybody all of us were using a social media to its fullest at that point of time uh aur kuch karne ko bhi nahi tha so but i had a lot of fun we uh, there was a time the first lockdown remember we were not even going to the market we were not going anywhere so it was my my daughter's birthday and we for we were preparing for about like 20 days or so we were making a homemade decorations and we we were painting every single day of of that lockdown and we ended up decorating the house with newspapers and reuse material it was their idea so it was they who was keeping me busy it's um, it's just yeah i think we only have to learn a lot from them absolutely how about giving a round of applause to all those kids out there for being teachers to us too right absolutely jaane se pehle ek message that you'd like to give all the parents watching this chat of ours 
to really uh, respect, like I said, I've said this way too many times in this conversation, but just because that has been a learning for me. It's not that I've always been a mother. It's not that I've always respected my babies because when once they were born, I thought exactly I, it, it became very uh, mechanical. So I think you need to really the best way to have a happy household is to cherish their dreams, their aspirations, treat them as young adults who have opinions, who have um, who have their say without really at times it might sound stupid to you, might sound juvenile to you, uh, but they are really sensitive deep down within. So you might laugh and they might be OK with it. But the second time they might not express it because they'll feel that, he, you know, it, it's not intelligent enough. Uh, but I just feel we, we as parents, as adults, we need to make a conducive environment uh, for our children to express themselves, freely express themselves, and to have, uh, for us to uh, really push them to have dreams, for them to dream, and uh, for them to fulfill all their dreams and aspirations. So, yeah. Wow. Dream on, live your dreams. It's okay to fall, you rise again, but be at it and enjoy the whole process. Thank you, Tahira. I have genuinely dil se ketao from one person to the other. I've truly admired you as a person. And I really feel that you spoke from your heart. You were so real. You were so candid, filled with warmth and affection. And there's so much one can imbibe from you. Thanks for being on Extra Marks Weekender. Thank you so much, Siddharth. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you.